Academic activities came to a complete halt for the third day running at Rhodes University in Grahamstown in the Eastern Cape. Protests on campus by largely female students continued against what they call an institutional rape culture at the university. The protests were sparked by the release of a list of alleged sexual offenders at the institution on social media. The protest went viral last night as scores of students demonstrated half naked. Five students were arrested. A show of force, sending a clear message to management. It, it comes from the victim blaming um, um, trope that um, whenever someone was raped, they asked what was she wearing. So it was a way of protesting and saying, even if I'm naked, no one deserves to touch me. No one deserves to lay a hand on me because it's my body and no one is entitled to it. Survivors just feel unsafe in this place and it's time for it to change. The university needs to look at the fact that survivors don't feel safe and that it's necessary for them to intervene and make sure that perpetrators and alleged perpetrators are not the ones who are, who are protected. Allegations that students are discouraged by university management to report sexual offences to protect the image of Rhodes University also surfaced. We have a, a, an harassment office. Uh, one of the um, uh, complaints of the students is that they believe that the capacity of that office is insufficient and we've immediately agreed that we will look at that. Um, but there is no rule that says students may not go straight to the police and in, certainly in uh, cases of serial, serious sexual assault, um, going straight to the police often makes a lot more sense than coming to the university. Further engagements between management and students are set to take place as they thresh out a long-term solution. The protest action by the students has died down somewhat as conveners of this protest have called a meeting to map out a way forward. Unatipin was ABC News, Cramstown.